Okay, people, welcome back to another tutorial about making the Funko Pop in Blender 3.0. Today, we're going to add the torso and the legs and connect the arms to the body. To do that, first go into the front view and press Shift A to add a new cube. I'm going to scale that down a bit. Press G and Z to bring it up, scale it down a bit more. Then press Tab to go into edit mode. Turn on X-ray mode and face selection mode. Grab this bottom face and you can press G and Z to pull that down a bit. And then we're gonna press N to bring out these options and click the auto mirror on to make sure we have that going. And press N again to hide that menu. Press Control R and we're gonna add four loop cuts here. We're gonna press Control R again and add two loop cuts this way. Going to the side view, you can once again add four loop cuts. And we're doing this so we have the right number of vertices at the end to add the arm to the body. So we're just gonna add one more there as well. Make the whole cube go up slightly so that it meets with the head. You'll notice that the second reference image that I have here isn't exactly the same size as the original, but it won't matter very much because we're mostly just focused on the top body where it seems to line up decently. Not worried about the legs at this point. So in that side view, we're going to go into the vertice mode and drag these ones G, Y a little bit closer to the center and you're gonna bring all of them in so that you can start lining things up with the body. Bring the last one on the back so that it's touching the furthest out part of the back. And then we'll do the same with the front ones. Bring them in closest part. Zoom in a bit. GY on these top ones. To bring them in so that we can bring in the furthest back and closest to the front ones as well. Line this one up and just go around pressing GY after selecting all the vertices there and line them up with the character. Always hitting GY here to scale things in. And we're gonna bring these two stomach ones in a little bit further so that the chest can be out on the character. Press one to go in the front view and I'm just hiding that other reference image. I'm not gonna need it anymore for what I'm doing. You might wanna see it again, that's up to you. Pressing GX this time to shift these in the right manner. And from here, you're going to want to also bring these down a little bit more and bring the center one up slightly. We're gonna add an additional loop cut so that we can bring the leg out from here and the mirror doesn't cause any issues. We come out of X-ray mode. I'm gonna go back into object mode and there I'm gonna add a subdivision surface modifier with three levels to it and tab back into edit mode the point now is to get these lines out of here and make it a little bit more well defined a little more rounded out so first i'm going to go ahead and press two to get the edges press alt to grab this edge and I'm always pressing G twice to just slide these along the body that already exists. So this is another point where things might be slightly different for you. But if you look at the mirrored side, it's kind of easy to see what needs to be moved, how it needs to be moved. And the goal here should be to get as much separation between these edges as possible 
so that you don't have any harsh lines. So you see when it's right next to that, there's a really harsh line there. If we pull it out, it can be a little bit less intense. Just working my way all the way around the body to get things a little bit more circular here. And we're gonna go back into the vertice mode. Gonna pull these ones, G, Y out a little bit to make the butt. Gonna bring out these up here, I think, a little bit to make kind of a shoulder blade. I'm always pressing shift when I'm doing this as well just so I can make those incremental changes instead of anything too drastic. And I think I will bring this one out on the X slightly just to add a little bit more curvature there. I'm gonna turn off the head for a moment and try to reduce some of these lines here. I want to select the entire loop in this case, so I'm just shift-clicking all of these, pressing G twice again to make things a little less drastic there. This part as well is going to be kind of covered by the head a bit, so I'm not really super concerned about how well this top line looks, but this line is here basically as a support for the armhole. So that's why it's so far up here. I'm just gonna sort these ones out around it. So really, that's about good enough for me. I think once clothes are added and all that, it's not gonna matter a tremendous amount how well shaped that is. Going to three. And let's select, let's add another loop cut here below the arm. I want to have nine faces to have this really connect correctly. So, Now we have nine faces there. Three into face mode, select these nine underneath where you have the arm. Press X and delete those faces. Now with these selected, I'm gonna press, gonna alt click this line, gonna right click, and then I'm gonna click loop tools, circle, and scale this down. I'm gonna line it up with the arm as well as I can. And to add those loop tools, if you do not have them, you can go up here. You can go to preferences and it's an add-on. So you can just search loop and you should be able to add the loop tools that will make your life so much easier in a lot of situations. So we've got the loop tools set up. Again, this line here going to cause some problems so we're going to zoom in here go into two for the edge mode and just slide this back another thing we can do right now too is with three take these faces extrude g twice just to smooth these out so it's not such a harsh line there and it should be relatively good to go. So tab back into object mode, grab your arm, and we're gonna have to do a few things here to make this really work because uh, we made it a little bit too long in the last video. So scale it down, that would be a good way to start. And for now, I'm just going to tab into edit mode grab this, scale it up slightly. 
and we're going to put a mirror modifier on this as well. So add the mirror modifier, click this little pipette, click the object that is your body, whatever you have it named. And we're gonna press GX to bring these a little bit closer before we try to merge them. Should save us a little bit of trouble. Shift select the arm and the body, then press Control J to merge them into one object. So add the mirror modifier, but don't apply it. And then you should have the things joined into one mesh. Tab into edit mode, go on to the vertices, and now we're gonna, we should have the same number of vertices if things went according to plan on the arm as we do with the torso. So with these, we can just do our old merge at center trick. And then your arms should be joined to your body. And your dude is looking pretty decent. I think the arms are going to be just scaled a little bit longer on ours. We might end up with a slightly taller Funko Pop, but we can go in and edit those as well, if need be, later on. Now to add the legs, we're going to go into face mode. We're going to select these bottom faces but not the row that's closest to the center so that we can have two individual legs pop out of this guy. So once you've got all those selected, you can bring your reference image back and go into front mode. Press E to extrude. R to rotate on the Y, so R, Y. Extrude some more. RY the other way, extrude some more, and then you can press SZ0 to flatten out the bottom of your mesh. And we're not gonna add the feet because in the next tutorial, we'll look at some ways to add some shoes. So I'm gonna see how this works, but we're gonna press Alt. There's two first, select an edge, we're gonna press F3. We're gonna do two sphere. Shift clicked all the way around this. I'm not sure why it won't allow this to be a loop, but it is what it is. Two sphere. Make it a little bit more circular. I think I'm gonna just go into the front mode. Gonna go into Control Z, or sorry, Alt Z for the X ray mode. Gonna press three to get the faces out. Select all of these. And we're gonna just scale that down a little bit. And let's just see how things are looking. going here we're going to add some knees the same way we added elbows before you can add three loop cuts there in about the middle and we're just going to grab the middle one press g y to bring it forward slightly and then press control on those rotate on the x GG, let's bring it in slightly. Do the same thing here, R, X, holding shift so it doesn't rotate so dramatically. And then GG, slide it down. Should give you some kind of knee looking guy there. And then you can go through and get rid of any of these corners as much as possible any of these strong angles. 
some of them may have become more pronounced once the arms were added. Overall, it's not perfect, but we're getting there slowly but surely. And of course, I'm getting further and further from sticking to the reference image, which is okay, but that's where we'll get today. I'm still trying to figure out the rigging situation here because it keeps really messing up the armpit area, but we'll sort that out as well as some of the clothing in the next video. Thank you for checking it out. If it helps you at all, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.